Hello and welcome to my office actually, which is an extension of my workshop. Today's video we're going to be making these two little covers for the CNC lathe. The covers go over the limit switches to stop Swarf going inside them. And I will also be using Flash Cloud for my Flash Forge 3D printer. My particular model is the Adventurer 3 and I do recommend that model to anybody who's in the market for a 3D printer. And it's very true what they say, you get what you pay for. You're going to spend $200 for a 3D printer, you're not going to get much. <laughs> They'll work for a while. But um, you know, I, I record an enclosed uh, unit and living in Australia with the, you know, it gets pretty warm here. And um, this one seems to cope with the heat very well. Uh, because it's enclosed, I suppose, and uh, it's a, a solid structure and there's quite a bit of metal in it as well. So that's the one I would recommend. And to all you younger viewers out there, um, I will remind you if you go along to if you go along to the Autodesk download pages Fusion 360 that you see me use is free for hobbyists so you can download it and you can use it for free so I hope you like the video today so we'll get on <laughs> Thank you. 
those little covers turned out actually perfect. So now all I've got to do is just clean these up, which is a pretty easy thing to do, just that. Uh, one strange thing I did notice was on the larger one, you notice it's got uh, supports. Now I don't know why um, FlashForge program decided to put supports on that one and not this one. If you notice there's no supports on that one at all. And uh, my glasses on it. Be able to see better then. And the holes are perfect as well. So exactly what was drawn in Fusion 360. My little flash forge has printed it. And uh, it's actually got a it printed it on a carbon fiber um, table as well. It's removable. And uh, you know if you're in the market for a 3D printer, you really you you couldn't go past uh, the, the the flash forge now this particular model is the adventurer 3 it's cloud based the programs are cloud based and look i haven't had a moment's problem with it and i've printed quite a lot so um there's a bit of a recommendation for you so all i have to do now is go fit this on the little CNC lathe. So I hope you've enjoyed the video today and uh, please press like and subscribe to my channel and at this point I would like to say thank you to my patrons. Without the patrons behind this channel uh, this channel wouldn't exist as it does today and if you would like to become a patron please go along to my patron pages and I would be very grateful. So I hope you've enjoyed the video today all I've got to do now is say bye for now until the next time.